started in Area 51. Now he is on the run. He must depend on the kindness of strangers, but it's difficult to discern between friends and enemy. Who is Corsan? Hey, look at this. Yeah, stay away. He's a stranger and he smells bad. He looks like he could use a helping hand. I don't know. He looks dangerous and you know Grandpa says never to talk to strangers. I know, but he also says never judge a book by its cover. <sighs> hey mister, are you alive? <coughs> what do you want? Go away. Are you okay? Do you need help? I said, leave me be. Get the hell out of here. Come on, Desi. Let's get out of here. You heard him. He doesn't need our help. Are you sure, mister? We have food and water. Leave me alone. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. We can't offer a lot. But please come with us and share our dinner. What are you doing? I don't think this is a very good idea. Listen to your brother. You don't want me in your house. I'm serious. Please come with us. Okay. Are you sure your parents are going to be alright with this? We don't have parents anymore. We live with our grandpa. Grandpa, is he home right now? Yes, he is. You don't want to mess with our grandpa either. He was in the military and knows how to kill a man ten different ways. All right. I understand. Follow us. It's only a couple of blocks. Good afternoon. Jake McGee's the name. And who are you? My name's not important, but let's just say you can call me Krizan. All right, Krizan. And what brings you to my home today? Well, these two wonderful children were kind enough to invite me to dinner, and be honest with you, my stomach allowed me to follow. Fair enough. Why don't you use the restroom to clean up and we'll have dinner real soon. Why? Why did you bring that man here? Isn't it obvious that he might be trouble? I told her it was a bad idea. You taught us never to talk to strangers, and I reminded her. Is this true? Yeah, but you also told us never to judge a book by its cover. Why did you bring him here? Well, I got a feeling that we could help him, and I followed my instinct. Well, it's too late now. He's here, and we're just going to have to deal with the situation.
Tonight's Grandpa's famous stew. You're gonna love it. I bet he will. Thank you. Hey, excuse me. At this table we say grace before we eat. Sorry about that. Desdemona, would you say it? We give thanks for the bounty we are about to receive. And for our friend. And allowing us to help him. Amen. So, Krizan, what's your story? What? I'm just here to eat. I don't want to discuss my personal life. Grandpa's just asking. He doesn't mean to pry. What, were you a serial killer? No. Nothing like that. Are you sure you really want to know? Yes. Well, to be honest with you, I used to work for the government. <laughs> yeah, right. Kane. Be polite, please. Yes, Grandpa, I'm sorry. What did you do? Well, I was a scientist on a top secret project. And I invented something that the government didn't want the world to know about. And now you're homeless? How did that happen? Well, the government decided that by keeping me quiet, they would discredit me and take away my life. And now, everyone thinks I'm just a crazy street person. And any time I bring up the government thing, people look at me. A lot like how you folks are looking at me right now. That's a real interesting story there. You got any more tall tales? Sir, with all due respect, these are not tall tales. As a matter of fact, you're probably going to have a visit in a few minutes. And then you're going to see that I'm telling the truth. Visitors? What are you talking about? I've already said too much. Grandpa, I think he's telling the truth. This guy is crazy. Hold on. There may be some truth in what he's saying. I used to work at Area 51 and I was in charge of technology research. And one day during a routine experiment... I noticed that the feds were watching me. It was right about that time that I came up with the idea for... Excuse me, I better get that. No! It's them! I need to get out of here! The back door, come on! Jesse, no! Grandpa, stop them! Quiet, Dizzy. Okay, men, take her away and keep it quiet. Grandpa, what's going on? Don't worry about it. You guys go to your room and pretend you didn't see a thing. Yes. Yes, we got him. He's being transported right now. And I want you to do me a favor. Make sure that son of a bitch never sees the light of day again. to work at Area 51 and I was in charge of technology research. 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 Research.